OBS working good. Um, only thing not working good is my voice. Hmm, sorry about that. This, this is a test demo. Loaded it uh, a couple days ago. Pretty straightforward. This uh, Linux Mint uh, in their software. I think it's called Software Manager. Let me get over there. Yeah, they're they're way to add software through Software Manager or PPA or whatever repository you want to use. That sounds nasty. Um, now you type in like OBS or any software you're looking for, and it says, "Lo and behold, we can load it directly from here." Um, Photoshop. Nope. Unfortunately, uh, I'm using GIMP and I'm using Darktable because you cannot get RAW into GIMP directly. And Darktable says you can, but I'm having issues. Maybe it's just the instructions. Or maybe it's me, I don't know. Um, raw image converter. Yeah, they want you to convert it to JPEG. That's not the idea of importing it into your edit program uh, as raw. Um, even Photoshop Elements is better than this stuff right now. I'll keep looking, keep trying. Okay. But that's your uh, editor or your uh, software manager update stuff. If you go to applications, you got accessibility details, applets, man archive manager, I haven't looked at that, audacity, background, backup tool, Bluetooth calculator. It's pretty much like Windows 10 with a lot of stuff. It has a firewall. I put it on a certain level, like they said. I don't know. Supposedly, uh, Linux is not hack that much. Uh, there's my OBS. Uh, I don't know what PIX is. PIX. And Ian opened it. A lot of stuff in here. I've had it for about four days. If you go to graphics, PIX is in there. Let's load it and see what it looks like. Um, it's Yeah, it's your pictures. Wow. Contents, keyboard, about. Image, viewer, and browser. I use VLC. It accepts every format and extras and loads, so. I don't know. I like this. Noticed. I didn't see it. Um, oh, player's down here. Universal access, admin, preferences, places, eh. So it's this uh, Linux Mint, it's pretty cool. It uh, When I surf, I use Windows 10 a lot. It seems just as fast. But I have a pretty good connection. I don't know, not the greatest, pretty good. Comcast, uh, I think I got 70 megabits down. Six seven up. Um, I stream Roku's on everything and it works. Google News. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Make it bigger. Today's supposed to be 91 here in sunny California. Um, I can go right to my Gmail, uh, my maps my drive because I, I am a Google nut I got everything shut off for reporting stuff so that's cool but overall um, this version of Linux is uh, pretty user friendly this is one of their default screenshots for now I'll use it but eventually I'll customize that it's um, it's hard to compare CPU usage with the tools in each Windows 10 versus this. Um, 
it seems similar RAM wise um, I do use Cyberlink in Windows 10 it's not an energy hog in Windows 10 um, the, the Caden Live is a little more intensive I'm still learning about it it's not quite as user friendly maybe it's just my skill set okay I'm gonna shut this off and see how it plays here we go down okay a little update on this uh, OBS that I downloaded and I started I created the first part of this video I was just gonna show you a few things there few things I had to change. I turned off my desktop audio which is my web camera with a microphone and I have a USB microphone right next to me here. It works a lot better. Um, if you go to settings here there's a few little things. Um, the default output of this thing is not mp4 that's all I use is mp4 so they have some like I think it's IFV or IFX something like that you change that here right where it says whatever and um, all the rest is default and then the audio I had to pick my microphone video I just use default on that and um, where you want to render every time you render it'll tell you there's a default you can change that too and just ship it to any old hard drive you have um, so it's pretty straightforward I have the dark theme to match the desktop wow um, everything is the same so the output is the biggie now my recording path is on a separate folder that I created within my home directory on the uh, Linux side so that's okay but other than that like you go over here and you add your source I just have screen capture if I wanted to add uh, my video cam I could add that here or if I wanted to add a JPEG or a PNG actually with a logo up in the corner I could do that here just go to image and you can import an image so it's really pretty straightforward um, there are plugins you can get for this on the Windows side I didn't even try it you know this is this is just me doing a little video so I just wanted to add this to the end of my other thing about OBS and Linux mint for real um, everything's cool I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and I've used Caden live to do the entire video I did mess with the audio a bit but that was kind of minimal so Caden live OBS Linux this whole thing was created that way see you later